season started with championship aspirations, you know, ended similar to last year. I mean, how do you kind of look at the whole thing in its totality? I mean, given, you know, when you showed up, how would you kind of summarize your first four years in the league, given the way this has gone? I mean, I'm just, I'm just blessed, man. Um, at the end of the day, things didn't end how we wanted it to. But as I reflect, I'm just blessed to, to be healthy, blessed to be in this position. Um, obviously, these first four years has been a whirlwind, as everybody knows. But uh, I'm just trying to stay solid as I can be for myself, for the organization. And, you know, I'm here, and I want to continue to grow. Can you, now that you're at least a little bit removed from the game, I mean, can you look back and comment on, A, your own personal growth as a player, staying healthy, getting far more minutes uh, than you'd gotten accustomed to? And then secondly, what are the areas of growth that you're going to look for to work on over the summer? I think the biggest piece going forward, what I would say, I mean, you said it, just staying healthy, just being available, being out there, getting reps. Um, availability is the best ability, and when I'm out there, you know, I continue to show that I'm a, I'm a grow, and just things that I want to focus on, you know, definitely getting stronger, um, you know, adding some some good muscle that that's big for me. That's gonna help my overall game. Continue to work on my free throw shooting, you know, just expanding my game, whether it's maybe shooting a little more and just continuing to thrive in the areas that I do. I know um, Jock and Mikhail, I believe, talked to us about just chemistry and just you guys obviously not having a lot of time to get to know each other these two months to get on the court. Um, is that something that also you guys, you know, you personally want to try to do more this offseason is try to, you know, build some connection with some of these guys? Yeah. I mean, definitely, you know, we we had a slow start. So, you know, when we do have that set roster, and the core guys going into next year, definitely getting getting in the gym, getting some reps, whether we playing pickup or just getting in the gym and just being around each other, starting to build some type of togetherness going into next year. I think um, going forward, it would be nice just to have like you know a nucleus of guys that we can all just grow, um, just grow together. You see that around the league, like teams just have a, it's they gel, and then when you get into the playoffs. It can be tough a lot of times if you, you know, you got a whole new team. Nick, kind of going off there, I mean, Cam Johnson said after yesterday's game how at the trade deadline you guys essentially tried to mix three teams into one in the starting lineup with you, two from the Mavericks and two from the Suns. I mean, from that point, I mean, wh how much of your guys' problems do you think were just based on the fact of meshing those three teams together in a sense is going to take time and, and kind of out of everyone's control with the reps and whatnot? I mean, how much do you think of your guys' problems were just stem from that versus stuff you guys could control more? Yeah, that's definitely big. I mean, a whole new starting lineup, and then especially going into a playoff series. I mean, teams have been together. They've been in the trenches together for, you know, maybe five-plus years, and then you're throwing a whole new team. But you're not making no excuses. Just it'll be nice going forward, you know, if we can really just start to just build something here. Actually, I don't know how superstitious you are, but, you know, your first three years in the league, you gave us all the different hairdos with the blonde and whatnot. You had the same hairdo this year, and this was your best season. I mean, do you think you're ever going to break that out again? Uh, no, nah, the blonde, the blonde is gone. Maybe the locks. I I miss the locks, but the blonde, I can't I can't bring the blonde back. <laughs> when you put together a body of work like you did for this whole season while staying on the floor, top of the league in blocks, field goal percentage, does that shift your own expectations for where you can be in terms of you know the league centers? Definitely. I mean, I think. This year, I kind of kicked the door down, just showed everybody that, you know, I'm here, kind of put my put my name on the map. But, you know, now it's just about consistency and just taking it to another level, like you said. So, yeah, I mean, my expectations, they do go up. And, you know, I'm expecting a lot out of myself. But at the end of the day, that's when you just get in the gym and just put the work in and all of that stuff, it always takes care of itself.